In the last videos, you learned how to send your data to Stingray via the Live Link workflow. As you are working towards building a real-time presentation in Stingray, you might find it helpful to use the Live Camera Tracking option. Live Camera Tracking will enable both viewports to be connected and copy each other. To do so, go to the 3ds Max Stingray menu and turn on the option Live Camera Tracking. By default, the 3ds Max viewport is the leading viewport. So when you are orbiting around in perspective view in 3ds Max, all the motion is copied in the Stingray viewport. That also means that if you are looking through a camera that is set in 3ds Max, you will view your design through the same angle in Stingray. If your camera is animated in 3ds Max, you can hit the play button and that camera animation move will be copied in the Stingray viewport. In reverse, you could also choose to have the Stingray viewport be the leader. You simply need to go to the 3ds Max Stingray menu and choose Stingray as the master viewport. Perhaps you can navigate around your Stingray model and once you like a certain view, you can use it to create an additional camera in your 3ds Max project.